A great deal of effort is expended to influence us, to control our information, our purchases, our activities, and our votes. We aren't talking Truman Show level of crazy, but the efforts are massive and pervasive. This is not a reason to despair. It is an affirmation that what we know and what we do is important. We should use our power to bring about the best long-term outcomes. But what can I actually do? How can I actually improve my security? Here are five things that I can do to work towards a better, more secure existence. One, I must try to live in the real world. It's easy to clothe myself in comforting illusion. Deceit makes an exquisite fabric. But illusion leaves me blind and ineffective. For example, expecting perfection of myself or anything else is a dangerous deception. This deception harms me, my community, and my society. In order to be effective, I must face the pain, mistakes, and compromises of the real world. We all make mistakes. Effective people learn from mistakes. Disclosing mistakes is a painful compromise, but disclosure and documentation is the only proven pathway to improvement. Security researchers who disclose mistakes are better than the alternative. Whistleblowers are better than the alternative. Knowing that I am wrong is better than the alternative. To deal with the real world, I must try my best. Enable and tolerate evaluation. Admit and learn from mistakes. And try again. Two. I must value security in my decision-making processes. Most of us value security in the abstract, but we do not reserve a place for security in our wallets. I must consciously rank the value of my security. Think about it and decide what security is worth to me. When considering stuff, I should ask, is it more secure than the alternatives? Never ask, is it secure? That leads to deception. I am always going to be ranking compromises. When budgeting, I must plan an actual amount that I'm willing to pay for a more secure future. I can't blindly believe salesmen and politicians because security is personal. At the end of the day, I have to decide my own security. Three, I am an economic force. I should use my power for good. I must think about the long-term effect of my decisions. <laughs> I should not give support to people who are trying to enslave or destroy me. I should not reward dishonesty, cover-ups, or deceitful manipulation. I must reward admitting mistakes and improved behavior. Four, I must spend my security budget wisely. I can't do everything. I can't change everybody. But I can prioritize my efforts. I can take care of the most important things. After that, I can try to maximize return on investment. So, for example, my highest priority is my important personal relationships. Before all else, I support and nurture my spouse. I work with my kids. I play with my grandkids. Next, I take care of essential needs like housing, food, power, internet, recent backups. Then, 
I can worry about digital privacy and more secure ways to use the internet. It is insane to worry about cell phone privacy if I'm not taking care of my spouse and kids. Five, I must stay more than one mistake away from disaster. I think about the disasters that are most likely and most important to me, and then I take more than one step away from them. <laughs> if I smoke and drive recklessly, I'll probably die long before I need to worry about anything on the internet. 